when I'm rolling out pie dough on camera and I'm like, <laughs> my head can't be in it. Are we still rolling? Still rolling. Oh, okay, the whole time? Hi bakers, I'm Sally, and today I'm showing you how to fill cupcakes. I have two methods that I like to use and I'll show you both and I'll explain which filling works best with the method that you're using. Once you see how easy this is, you'll be filling all of your cupcakes. The first method I'll show you works wonderfully if you have a thick filling like a raspberry cake filling, a buttercream, or a chocolate ganache. For this, you'll need a paring knife and a small spoon. If your thick filling is smooth, you can use a piping bag and a piping tip like Wilton number 12. All right, with your paring knife, you're going to cut a hole in the cupcake about an inch deep. The piece you take out will be roughly cone-shaped. Just set that aside. Let's grab our spoon. And I'm just using a teaspoon here. And I'm going to fill the cupcake with however much is going to fit in there. So it's usually about a teaspoon. Grab the piece that you cut out. See, it's, it's cone-shaped here. So I'm going to remove the little pointy end and stick it right in. This is just a little bonus piece you can munch on. I love filling cupcakes because it's like a little surprise inside when you take that first bite. Fruity fillings are always good. I love like a pastry cream or a caramel sauce. You can have a lot of fun mixing and matching different fillings and cupcake flavors and frostings. Here I have some whipped buttercream and I'll show you the same method, but I'll pipe the filling in. So, Again, cut out the center of your cupcake. Okay, set that little piece aside. And we're going to pipe in the filling. And place that top right back on. Very easy. And don't worry about how it looks on top. We'll be covering this all up with a little buttercream. Some of my favorite cupcake filling and frosting combinations are like a vanilla cupcake with a jam filling and a peanut butter frosting. This right here is a vanilla cupcake with a raspberry cake filling and vanilla buttercream. And now these are my favorite cream filled chocolate cupcakes. So I filled them with the whipped buttercream and I will top them with a little chocolate ganache. And we were covering this up with chocolate ganache so you'll never know that we cut open this cupcake. These are like a homemade hostess cupcake. Now the second method is great if you have a thinner filling, like a thin and smooth jam or lemon curd. For this, you'll need a piping bag and a skinny piping tip like Wilton 230. Grab your cupcakes, and I have this filled with a strawberry jam. And put the piping tip about half inch deep inside the cupcake and begin squeezing the filling in. And you'll notice the cupcake expand a bit that's when you'll know to stop. Now this gets a little messy if your filling is super thin, but it's nice and easy. And again, we'll just cover up the top with a frosting. Then this is just a vanilla buttercream right on top. So whichever method you choose, this is a great way to add a little something special to your next batch of cupcakes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you feel inspired to try a new baking recipe today. Head over to my website for the full written recipe and all of my success tips. You can also ask a question right there on the recipe page and my team and I will be happy to answer.